I did today's warm up outside just to switch things up a bit. I love being outside, especially when the weather's nice. So I just ran up and down the stairs about 10 times and then I did some jumping squats up the stairs and walked down. This was about five rounds. And then I moved on to glute activation exercises with the band. So here I'm just opening up my hip flexors, getting the hamstrings, quads, and glutes ready for our workout. So I just did a squat with a lateral leg raise, did this 10 times per leg, and then I was ready to move on to the main workout. Okay, on to the main event. I started off with some leg presses. So these are just standard leg presses. Your feet are in the middle of the platform, hip width distance apart. If it's your first time using the machine, you can do it this way. If you want to engage the glutes even more, try pushing through your heels instead of the center or balls of your feet. Next, this is totally optional. I just did this to kind of burn out my left leg a bit more because it is weaker than my right. I currently have a torn meniscus and I'm focusing on rehabbing it. Another reason I kept the weight light was because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of unilateral or one side exercises. So this is the side leg press. You want to turn your body at an angle about 45 degrees, really focusing on driving through the heels. You're going to feel this in your glutes a lot if you're doing it the right way. So you're going to do about 10 to 12 of these on each leg and then switch. Moving on to barbell squats with the resistance band. So using the resistance band increases the contraction of your TFL and glute medius. These are the muscles on the sides of the glutes where your hips are. So every time you go down and when you come up, your muscles are under constant tension, meaning they are working harder. So I'm keeping the weight nice and light here. And here's a view from the backside. Feel free to add any weight. I actually added weight after this. So this is my warm up set. So I do three rounds of 10 to 12. Okay, for the box step up, I'm using dumbbells here, 20 pounds each. I'm just going to be stepping up onto the box and stepping off with that same leg. So just taking it nice and controlled and slow for the first round. You can stay here or if you want to speed things up. The second round, I added a bit of a hop just to get more plyometric action here, springing off with that bottom leg. Bulgarian split squats. Okay, so I know I'm totally shaky here because I was wearing the wrong shoes. I had no mobility in my ankle, which is why my foot is kind of all over the place. But you just want to make sure that your front knee stays at 90 degrees. So you don't want your knee to go over your big toe during this movement. Next is a superset with two exercises back to back, no rest in between. I did 15 back extensions followed by 15 jumping squats with the resistance band. While you're doing these, you wanna really make sure you're squeezing the glutes at the top and your back is going to extend just a bit. You're gonna have a slight arch in your lower back. You're really gonna feel the butt during this and the hamstrings engaged as well. Remember, this is a superset. So right after this, you're going to get down and do 15 in and out jumping squats with the resistance band. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite exercise right now for the outer hips. We're going to be doing some hip abduction exercises. So you want to keep these at a weight that is going to be challenging for you to do 10 reps of. So I'm going pretty heavy here, about 200 pounds. And the first round you're going to 
keep it lighter. Second round, you're gonna increase the weight and just do these until you burn out. So I would say three to four rounds. If you're feeling like you got a lot of energy and your butt's still not burning, do five rounds. And then remember to stretch. It's important to cool down, relax those muscles, relax your mind. I'm holding each stretch for about 30 to 60 seconds. It looks a lot faster just because I sped up the footage. After a workout, it's important to fuel your muscles with some protein as well as some carbohydrates. So I want to replenish my glycogen stores as well as build muscle. I'm going to have um, a shake that I made with almond milk, coconut yogurt, mixed berries, plant-based protein powder, BCAAs, and just blended this up and poured it into my lovely skull glass, my favorite glass ever and it was delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you real soon. Bye.